The group Amnesty International says it's very concerned about how police in North Dakota have treated protesters. It says the use of force by police violates protesters' rights to a peaceful protest. Amnesty worries things may get worse with President-elect Donald Trump's promise to lift restrictions on pipeline construction in the first 100 days in office. The Water Protector Legal Collective, an initiative of National Lawyers Guild, has filed a class action lawsuit in U.S. District Court. The suit is against the Morton County Sheriff and other law enforcement agencies citing excessive force against peaceful water protectors. Increasing number of military type weapons uh, to the point where uh, on November 20th, people who were peacefully protesting or engaged in prayer on a public roadway were subjected to a barrage of uh, many uh, types of weapons, including explosive tear gas grenades, another kind of explosive grenades that sprays out rubber bullets in all directions, water cannon that was used in freezing temperatures for hours continuously against peaceful protesters, um, impact munitions that are fired from a shotgun or a launcher, um, and there were quite a number of injuries. So at this point, we um, we had to step in to try to put a stop to this, and we've, we have filed a request for an emergency restraining order uh, with the federal court. Okay.